Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With The Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle, so if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, it is my May favorites. So if you want to know just what I'm loving in May, go ahead and keep on watching. I actually don't have a ton and I was like, maybe I should just throw some extra stuff in there, but I always want to be real with you guys. We're not going to do that. We're going to just be real and talk about everything that I actually kept reaching for and couldn't pull myself away from. So let's get started. We will do like makeup products first and so we'll start with does lip care count as skincare yeah we're gonna do the skincare because I have a little pile of like other body skincare lips gonna be the skincare so for makeup and I just have this a little bitty sample right here now I'm kind of cheating this is more of an honorable mention for the month of May because that's when I discovered it but it's the milk makeup hydro grip primer I like this you guys I really do like I'm really considering buying the travel size of this because it's that good it lasted it okay I went to the gym I ran a mile I sweat because I take um a supplement that helps my body burn more calories while I'm working out and so I sweat and it was arm days. I, I'm talking about this workout was so intense. I burned about seven to 800 calories during this workout. So it was an intense workout. And this, by the time I was done working out, my makeup looked exactly the same as when I did it. Exactly the same as when I did it. And I know it was this. This is the only thing I used different yesterday when I worked out. So yeah, I'm really thinking about buying the travel size of this because it's cheaper than the big one and I don't need the big one because I have a million primers. So yeah, this, recommend it. If you haven't tried it, try it. Let me know what you think. If you have tried it, well, let me know what you think. So the next thing I wanna talk about, and I can't remember if I mentioned this last month, but this is something I literally cannot stop using. This is the e.l.f. brow cream, liner brow cream, whatever it's called. And I have mine in the shame, in the shade medium brown. You guys, so little of this goes such a long way and it's literally creamy, it's creamy. So it's so creamy, it's so easy to work with you guys. It lasts for a really long time. Like this is, like I cannot stop reaching for this. Like there's nothing else I can say about it except easy to work with, super creamy, lasts a long time. Boom, and that's it. I had a few brushes that were my favorites, but I don't feel like walking all the way to the kitchen and get them because I'm about to wash them. So going in, so I guess what I do after my primer and my brows is I go in with eyes, right? So I have to mention this palette, you guys. This is the BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival palette, you guys. I've been really into color this month, like really playing with, I've been, why can I not find my words? I've been, I've really been into playing with colors during the month of May, and this has been my go-to palette. These, y'all, these shimmers look like I've never seen a shimmer, like a colorful shimmer, like look wet. Like these are so freaking cute, and oops, kind of swatched those together, didn't I? Yeah, I kind of swatched the purple and the pink together. So that's the purple. Guys, those are so free. Ugh, good. These glitters are good. Just this this eyeshadow palette. If you need a good, affordable, colorful eyeshadow palette, get this one. They blend really easy. They're easy to work with. They're pigmented, like just BH Cosmetics can sometimes be underrated and not enough people talk about it. Like, get you this. 
get you this eyeshadow palette if you don't get anything else. Like I said, if you need something with colors but you don't want a massive palette, I recommend this one. This is why I went with it because it has basically like all your colors. And it's just like, mm. and it has glitters, metallics, oh, and of course, all of your mattes. So, I highly recommend this as your basic white and black. So that way you could put it underneath if you want them to pop more. You need this in your life. If you want a colorful palette, you need this one. Look how pretty those are, you guys. Like this one wowed me when I did that blue eyeshadow look. I'll be recreating it too so you can really see it in action. But man, this, oh, I love, mm, mm. Buy it. The next thing I have to give a shout out to are these e.l.f. eye liquid eye glitter. And this one is in the shade Flirty Birdie. I really want to buy more of these. You guys, these will not go anywhere. When you apply this, like it ain't going anywhere. You don't get any glitter fallout. It even washes off really easily to where you don't have glitter stuck on your face forever. Like that's how good this is. This glitter is so good that it goes on all together. It goes, it gets taken off all together. There's no nothing left behind. So if you're looking for some good liquid glitters, I highly recommend these e.l.f. ones. So another thing that I have to shout out, and I got this in my Ipsy, is this Tarte Tardis Lash Paint. I love this, you guys. This does amazing things for my lashes, and that's just what the wand looks like. This does amazing things for my lashes, especially my lower lashes. I even like to use this on days where I'll just do like concealer, like I'll spot conceal and do like something really light with my face. I love using this with like, if I'm not gonna use lashes, that's how good this is that I feel comfortable wearing this without even putting on lashes. That's how good this makes my lashes look. And for your bottom lashes, woo! And since the wand is a little bit skinnier, like it's not a massive wand, it's not really messy. That's another thing I like about this mascara is that even brand new, it's not super messy. So on to foundation. A foundation that I could not stop reaching for and I need to get me a darker shade is the BH Cosmetics Natural, BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. And I have mine in the shade Medium Beige. I should have went in the shade darker, but this, now that I've learned how to work with this, I cannot use my Glow Dewy Mist with this because it's just a little bit too much. But now that I know how to work with this foundation, I love it. This foundation also wears great if you're somebody that doesn't have time to take off your makeup before you do like an outdoor walk or you go to the gym. This foundation will last you all day long and will still look good after all of that. I've wore this to the gym multiple times. Like I've really been putting this foundation through the ringer because I had heard such great things about it whenever they first came out with it on YouTube. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna buy this foundation. I wanna try it. I love it. Now, the next thing I wanna talk, so you need to buy this. Buy this foundation, try it out, it's really affordable. They have it on sale right now on their website. They are sold out of some shades, but on their website they have it for $6.50 and if you're not able to find your shade on um, BH Cosmetics website, you can get it for $9 on Ulta's website, but Ulta always has coupons, so it's not like you're really gonna have to pay that much of a difference. So the next thing I really wanna talk about is this Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer. You guys, I love, I won't use this with a dewy foundation, I'll use this with more one of my more matte foundations. And I have mine in the shade Light Neutral. I love this concealer. I mixed it today with my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and it just gives you such a pretty glow underneath your eyes and it's hydrating. And because it is hydrating, you don't get as much like creasing and like crepiness underneath your eyes. Now I just have fine lines naturally, excuse me. So that's why you can see them, but it does not like, it doesn't look bad. Like it's not settling into anything. Like it doesn't look like it, it just it just don't look bad okay like it just it just don't like if you haven't tried this and you're more on the dry side or you have really dry under eyes try this concealer try it you like it you love it you won't regret it speaking of under eyes one thing that i have discovered this month that i love for my under eyes is the elf under eye setting powder i have mine in the shade share it's just this little bitty thing because it is supposed to be for only under your eyes 
You guys, this blurs everything under there and makes it look so smooth like a baby's butt. Like, <sighs> this is three bucks. And this works wonders underneath my eyes. Like if you buy anything out of this makeup stuff, buy this. Buy this, put it up underneath your eyes. This is actually a free gift on Elf's website if you spend more than, is it 15 or $25? Anyways, you can get this as a free gift if you shop directly on Elf, so get it. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Target too. Pretty sure I've seen it at Target in store. So I got this Nomad um, Sydney Bathers palette. Nomad Cosmetics Sydney collection, I guess it is. So, so I love this bronzer is it right here or is it right here this one i love this bronzer super creamy super blendable i've gone in way too heavy handed with this and i'll just take a brush with no extra product on it and i'll just blend and it blends beautifully into the skin and if you're somebody who's looking like you're not into the super gleaming glowing spotlight highlight you will love these. These give you more of a natural highlight rather than that super dramatic highlight. And I like this more for my natural days because like I said, you can either build this up or you can put it on super natural and it looks great. So yeah, I really do like this. Like I said, this is from Nomad Cosmetics. I got it in an Ipsy. I'm pretty sure you can buy it off of Ipsy or you can just go to the Nomad Cosmetics website and get this. I'm sorry, like it's not easily accessible, but I have been loving this this month. Like I can't stop reaching for this. I had to make myself use a different bronzing palette this month or this today. And I mean, it also I got a new one, so I wanted to try it, but yeah, I've been reaching for this. Like this is the number one palette I've been reaching for when it comes to bronzing. So another random one are actually these bands and I'll link them down below that I got off of Amazon for my Apple watch. So I bought these off of Amazon. It was a three pack for $8 and you guys, these look, let me take this off real quick. This is the band that I got with my watch. So these look and feel exactly like the Apple brand Apple watches. They're super sturdy, super thick, and I like these bands more than like the fancy ones, like the real girly, like fashionable ones, because I do work out a lot, and that's why I wanted the Apple watch. So if you're looking for cheap bands, like just to switch yours out, I highly recommend these. Everything will be linked down below, you guys. Um, yeah, so these are great. I use these if, like, I switch these out often. So depending on what I'm wearing, I want to buy more. I'm actually going to buy more. So, yeah, you guys, like, use these. Buy these. These are so great if you have an Apple Watch. And they do have the bigger sizes as well. Small, medium, medium, like, yeah, like small to medium, medium to large. They have all the different sizes also. So I do highly recommend these. And I was surprised that I got three for eight bucks because usually one, like from the just Apple brand, costs so much. So if you're looking for bands like this, they will be linked down below. Found these on Amazon. So something I have been loving for my cuticles and my nails, because I do take this up on my nails, is this California Mango Mango Magic Cuticle Oil. I put this on every night for before bed and I can just see like around my nails, like it don't get as dry, the skin don't pick up as much. And also it's been healing my nails really fast from like whenever I put the press ons on and I take them off, like it heals my nails so fast. Cause I just wrap it around and then I'll like drag the excess oil over my nails and it has been healing my nails lovely so i got mine at sally's beauty so see if you can find yours anywhere once again that is the california mango mango magic cuticle oil like i said i'm going to try to link everything below another thing i've been loving like if you have problems with dry feet like since i've had kids like my feet are just always so dry like i have to go in with like a pedic type deal at least once a week or once every other week, like I have to. But something that helps me like have like have a little bit more time in between having to do that is this O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Um, it's like a balm moisturizer type deal. It's called a foot cream, but it's kind of solid. And then like, as you rub it out, it turns into like, it's really, it ends up really emollient. And this I had, you guys, I had like 
my feet were terrible like terrible and you use this day and night for two weeks and it kills your feet completely and then after that if you just apply it to your feet every night before bed it keeps them like in a good place and it just helps you like put time in between of having to get maybe a pedicure all the time or just having to go in and scrub your feet yourself it just gives you time between that and it's really really good they also i don't think yeah it says for extremely dry cracked feet this isn't the one for diabetics but for whatever reason like this is so good and it only takes like a little bit goes a long way i've had this for a while now like maybe since november October, November is how long I've had this. So a little bit goes a really, really long way. I really do recommend this. So do you guys remember how I was complaining about that LA lip scrub in my last favorites video? I told you, I was like, I'm gonna find me a good lip scrub. And when I do, I'm gonna share it. Well, I went to a Mary Kay party. Mary Kay is so underrated. Why don't more people talk about Mary Kay? Why don't people like Mary Kay? Why? Right, because you gotta order it from people. I don't know anyways so i got the satin lips duo it's 22 dollars for both of these you get a sugar scrub and then you get a butter balm so shea sugar scrub shea butter balm my lips have been so moisturized because of this and if you're having a problem with dead skin on your lips or just crusty lips after you use a scrub no mas Benito gone, boom, vanished. Keep using, I use like to use this for during the day, so I keep this one in my purse. But this lasts a really long time on your lips, and I believe she said it hydrates your lips for up to 12 hours. So obviously you could reapply it and you can get your full 24 hours. But I already have something that I love for the nighttime, so this, I love it for the daytime. I highly recommend this. I do have problems with dry lips sometimes. You can't tell, but a lot of the time my lips feel really tight. And since I've been taking better care of my lips, I feel like they've gotten bigger. Cause like this, this is not me overdrawing my lips. My lip just naturally bloop, bloops down like that. No lip filler, no nothing. Like since I've been taking care of my lips, I really do feel like they've gotten bigger. I don't know. So what I like to use for nighttime before bed, and this is my last product, I'm gonna mention my favorite my favorite song that I've been listening to for spending time with God, and then the favorite TV show that Brian and I have been watching on Netflix after the boys go to bed. So one thing that for, my, for nighttime, and I only like this for nighttime because it really is thick, and it, it gets, it's really thick like that's all i can say but it is this ultra beauty joyful jelly overnight macadamia or overnight lip mask infused with macadamia oil this is what started my journey to healthier lips because i started using this at nighttime after my skincare and we wake up and your lips are just nice juicy and plump so good and i like to and especially since like my allergies have been acting up and i've been breathing through my mouth a lot at night my lips have not been half as bad as they can usually get since i've been using this okay so that is it for like skincare things like that so a favorite song that i have been loving and is um it's by people on songs but the main singer of it is charity gail and it's called waterfall and I just, oh, it's so beautiful. And don't make fun of my sneeze, my sneeze, my singing, because since I am stuffy right now, it doesn't sound best, but it's like. At the waterfall, I stand in awe under the rock, under the rock, where mercy reigns. I, I just love it and like the bridge is like everything lives where the river runs i come alive i come alive everything lives where the river runs i come alive Ugh, such a beautiful song i'm gonna link it down below so listen to it on youtube 
Uh, I love Charity Gale's voice and I love people in songs music. So if you're ever just looking for like some music to lift you up and just remind you of God's love, I highly recommend people in songs and a show that's like on the complete opposite spectrum of what I'm talking about that Brian and I have been loving this month is Weeds on Netflix. And I'm just like, yo, this woman and like Brian and I watch things with a different mindset. So I think that's why like we can watch weeds and like we don't get wrapped into it or anything like that like we just see things on a spiritual level and we're always like well they could have did this they could have did that like why are they doing this like we question everything now so i think because we watch things up with a spiritual mindset like not saying it makes it okay for us to watch but we definitely are more guarded if that makes sense so anyways if you guys like me adding in like a song and a uh, show go ahead and let me know in the comment section below let me know what some of your favorites have been maybe some maybe some products that people don't talk about that you know I should try out something you want me to try out on my channel get my thoughts on or you know just 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 let me know down in the comment box below I love you guys always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.